Hey guys, it's Liam here again, and today I'd just like to introduce you to an amazingly handy software and hardware combination that I use nearly every day. It's a digital sheet music app called Mobile Sheets Pro, and once you go digital, you'll never want to go back. Uh, we'll talk about the app for a bit, and then more importantly, how I use it to make sure I'm always ready for any show. The app costs $9.99 on the Google Play Store, but it is worth every penny. And of course, a claimable expense for all you grafters out there, so thumbs up for that. Don't forget using this setup also makes your tablet a claimable expense. How much of it is for business use is, of course, up to you. It's a great organizer and viewer for all of your charts and supports all of the expected formats like PDF and JPEG. It also has a lot of advanced features like MIDI support, audio playback and auto scrolling. And like most things I find the most useful, I haven't had to mess with it in a long time. It's been flawless for me for a number of years now on two different Android tablets. So here you can see how the interface looks. Every chart I've ever played is saved on here, which makes it insanely useful for depth gigs, jam sessions, or even teaching when you don't want to waste paper. In the setlist tab, you can browse, create, and edit your set lists. Amazingly handy compared to sweating it out backstage with a big ring binder, putting the songs in order, dragging them in and out. You can see how simple it is to make a new set list and search for songs using a whole host of tags that can be set when importing the files. Another benefit of going digital is non destructive annotations. You can see here that busting out the highlighter or adding text reminders is no problem. Good for keeping an eye on those pesky repeats or remembering a last minute change that you may be given. Adding charts to the software is also really easy and there's a lot of options depending on your preferred workflow. In a pinch for a last minute addition, you can grab your tablet's camera and take a snap of some sheet music. When I do this, I like to use another app called Cam Scanner, which will scan the image, tweak the contrast and straighten it up. It can really make all the difference when reading the chart on stage. Nice. Here you can see how the Windows software can connect to the tablet over Wi-Fi, making adding files a breeze. You can edit the tags and crop the file with no problem. So we're loaded up with the charts on our tablet, so when it comes to gig time, how do we make sure it's all going to go smooth? Well, you know what they say, fail to prepare and prepare to fail. So here's the important things you should know in order for the process to go smoothly. We need a way to keep the tablet on stage and I like to use a tablet holder that attaches to a mic stand. This works well for me because on a lot of my gigs I'm singing backing vocals as well. To be honest, I would just stick with this setup even if I didn't need a mic because it's just easier to carry than a sturdy music stand. Also, don't rely on someone else to just have a mic stand. Just bring one and save the hassle. Next, get a battery bank with a long USB cable and keep it charged and in your gig bag with the tablet. The tablet will run out of power at exactly the wrong moment and you need to be able to charge at a moment's notice. I was caught out by a short USB cable before and if the cable won't reach the floor, there's no elegant way to keep that tablet running while it's on stage. Finally, if you really want to up your game, grab one of these, a Bluetooth pedal. This allows you to turn the pages with your feet and are great for when your hands are full. And to be fair, that can be most of the time for most players. Add a sprinkle of reality and we're almost ready to go. The tablet's purpose is to display music for us and nothing else, especially while on stage. You're asking for trouble running anything else in the background, so here's what I would suggest. Number one, turn off your Wi-Fi. Number two, turn off your notifications. There's nothing worse than a notification from some app covering the top line of your music right when you're trying to read it on stage. Number three, turn the brightness down. This is the biggest battery saver and you'll probably do this instinctively once you're on the stage. I can get away with about 10% brightness on the average stage. Playing outdoors, maybe you put this up a little bit. And finally, number four, turn on your Bluetooth if you're using a pedal. Make sure that's on or you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, so after that, it looks like we're all set. All that's left to do is play Superstition for less money than you deserve and then drive three hours straight home at midnight.